Hello. No, hello. Stop it. Hello. What? They're going to think we're live. Oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I mean. What the time is it? I unmuted. So I unmuted the audio. I, uh, I see that. So you they, said can, you're gonna... they can still see oh, the placeholder. Okay. They can't see us, but they can hear us. They can hear us talking. They can hear that airplane. They might hear that airplane. That's uh, that's my brother coming over. I let him borrow that one for a while. Uh, all right. Yeah, I thought you wanted us to be quiet, Ed. Sorry. I've got five thirty. And I got gas, so let's go. Hang on here. I do this thing. Are we good? Yep. All right. uh, I'm good over here. All right, I think we're uh, probably. I think we're live. Are just we live? Pretend. Hello. <laughs> yeah, right. live. Uh, howdy, folks. Big Ed Barnum here from Big Ed Barnum's Bobble Barn and Garden. And Cole Screaming Eagle Wilson from the ejection seat, the only chili food truck not guaranteed to give you diarrhea, although it's a pretty mortal certainty. If you get the enchiladas, uh, be sure to wear your adult diapers. We like to say that when you eat at the ejection seat, your food is just in free fall. Right. Yeah, there's not much holding it back. Uh, right. Anyway, we have uh, a very special announcement for you. Um, I forgot what I was going to say immediately I think we were that. supposed to say that at the same time. Oh. We got right. a special message for you. All right, how about again? We got, we got a, special a very message special message for you. A very right. special message right. just, for you. Yeah. Well, just get off it. Yeah, All we right. nailed it. I uh, like that one. Uh, howdy, <laughs> folks. Uh, we have been slightly off the radar. Mm-hmm. Out, out. Out of the solar system, and, outside. And uh, totally absent for a few months uh, for a couple of reasons. Uh, there were the holidays, <laughs> for one, mm -hmm. uh, and it's time. just been a it's been a tough winter. So we've been, yep. uh, you know, Cole uh, has had some sort of issue with his uh, hairdresser, uh, who his Laotian um, girlfriend. That uh, girl, the down but, low. uh huh. And Ed, um, and Ed has uh, been seeing Doc Maynard. For a treatment of a non-thrombotic hemorrhoid, which, uh, according to Doc Maynard, is responding well to steroid Thanks. treatment. So uh, that's uh, good for you. You're sitting a little more comfortable there, huh? Not sure why Doc Maynard's talking to you about my hemorrhoids. Uh, anyway, you can't shut him up. Uh, so uh, just just a moment of uh, seriousness. It's actually been a tough winter uh, here at the mm -hmm. shed. We had to say goodbye to a beloved family pet, uh, Orion. Uh, he lived up the name up to the name. He was a 22 pound tabby, and we're going to miss him. But more uh, importantly, uh, we lost the matriarch of the Barnum family clan. Uh, I'm talking about my mother passed away. Uh, she was a super fan of everything uh, we've done here. She was a trooper. She was a uh, mother, uh, daughter, uh, grandmother, mm -hmm. uh, sister. Uh, or just mom. And despite uh, the foul language at times, she was just uh, an absolute angel. Uh, there's a hole in our hearts, uh, and we're going to miss you. Um, and something, uh, I'm just going to do some switching here. One of the things, actually oh, I'll switch back. Uh, <clears throat> we've replaced our uh, normal vinyl crappy Walmart uh, table covering uh, tonight mm -hmm. with a quilt that my mother made that uh, Keen Eyes... Quilt. Keen eyes will uh, possibly uh, notice that uh, there's some slight wear and uh, tear to it. It's 25 years old, and I have not been kind to it, but a friend of mine is, uh, is going to help uh, repair and mend this quilt so that I can uh, mo most likely uh, abuse it for another 25 it's, years. It's a beautiful quilt, and so, a quilt is worn because it's used, and it's used because it's loved. And so I'm going to put it in a display. I'm not going right. to abuse it. Uh, so... Uh, all that aside, uh, we're going to do right by you, Carol Jean, and uh, keep pushing forward doing some of the stuff that mm -hmm. we know uh, mm -hmm. you would like. <clears throat> so that uh, brings us to uh, the special announcement. Oh, is it time? <clears throat> I believe it's time. If I had a bottle rocket, I'd shoot it off to if you had a bottle, time. If you had a bottle rocket, I would... Um, uh, Enjoy me shooting it off to signify that it's time. Worried, because that's what you do with bottle rockets. And worry about... Uh, burning stuff down. No, that's All why right. I cut that hole in the roof. So, folks, what is this special announcement? Well, it's very simple. Uh, we are going to be coming to you live every Friday. Every uh, through Friday spring, through spring. Uh, with something we're calling uh, Spring into Spring Happy oh, Hour yeah. with Big Ed Barnum. Yeah. And Cole. Screaming Eagle Wilson. And whoever, well, whoever else we can uh, con into uh, joining us mm -hmm. uh, for mm -hmm. some mayhem. 
Uh, and it's basically, I think you're going to do the rundown of dates, right? Yeah, all right. It's now, real, easy, is, real easy to this remember. This is coming to you. It's coming to you every Friday night. Now, it's every Friday night, 5.30, wait for it, 5.30 sharp, okay? And that's Pacific Standard Time. If you're on the right coast, or as I like to call it, the wrong coast, all right? Eastern Standard Time, that's 8.30 p.m. Now, we're going to be coming every Friday night, uh, March 23 through June 15. With one exception, Ed, right? I one can't exception. Remember. Actually, uh, keen eyes will uh, notice that uh, April 13 is uh, not uh, mm-hmm. not on the uh, We do not on work the on the devil's day. I, I don't think April 13 is the devil's day. It's just uh, I've got to... I've just got to be out of town. That I day. thought you were well read, Ed. Uh, I don't know what that means. Thirteen is the devil's day. Uh, okay, but I, I don't know what to do with that. Uh, so anyway, those those are those dates. Uh, you don't have to write them down or anything. We'll uh, we'll, we'll get those. I write too. them down. If you need a gentle reminder, you can uh, you can get to us on uh, you can fake us on Lifebook and you can uh, follow us on Twitter and. And Instagram, we got an Instagram. We do. We yep. got an Instagram, so you can uh, you can uh, find us on there, uh, and we will send you gentle reminders so you don't forget. Right. And uh, <laughs> so we're going to be coming to you uh, March twenty three, but we thought this was uh, so special that uh, I think we're just going to do one. Uh, are we going to have anybody on these shows? Mm, oh, just yeah. Me let's me? Just do that. I don't know. I'm just going to... You remember. You know, we're going to try to have guests. Me, we're going to tell you about all the guests we're going to have on the show. We're going to try and have... I'm just well. going to go through these really quick. We're going to try, try to have... I can't... My lang, my words aren't working. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're going to try and have uh, my wife, uh, Summer America there Barnum, uh, on the right. show. Some folks haven't seen her in about a year and a half. Where's mm-hmm. she been? Well, I don't know. You all even still married? Same thing. Yes. Same thing for uh, Kenny Calisota. He's our spittoon tester. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's been missing for about 16 months. Where in the hell has he been? I, has he even still got a hat? He, I believe he does have a hat. All right. Uh, now, one of the things, uh, another person people haven't seen for about a year and a half is Mormon Mitch. Uh, where's he been hiding out? He even still got his faith? Don't, I don't know. We'll have, oh, I don't know. I'm trying to track him down. Uh, if you remember back in December, we had Joshua Thomas. Uh, I think the most beautiful music uh, I've ever had on any show that I've ever produced. Don't you let uh, uh, what's his name Liberace hear you say that? Well, we're going to try and book. Gonna... We're going to try and book Liberace. All I just, right, I just all right. Couldn't you get know the he rights. don't like you playing favorites. I couldn't get the rights to the photo cleared. Now this next person you may not recognize by this photo, but we're going to try and have her back on the show. Mm, you, uh, back on the show. You can research it on yourself. You you can do a deep dive and try and figure out who this person. is. Is. What's her name? Uh, that's the reason you do a deep dive and find out. All Emily right. June Newton. I all realized right, I was right. giving her the short end of the stick. We're also going to try and have Randy Nickers on the show. Uh, he's hey, the little guy. he's the little <laughs> red guy on the right, wearing the, the wearing the papal tiara. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're also mm-hmm. going to try and have Josh, our sound guy, back on the show. Uh, he doesn't look too good in that picture. All depends on uh, if his knee is holding up. Uh, uh, Doc Maynard <clears> just cut it off. No, I don't. I don't think he. He's, yeah, he fused been, his shin to his femur. I don't think he's been uh, draining his knee. So you yeah, might, he drained the you, entire thing. It's you, gone. Now. You might think that's a jug of milk that Josh is holding yeah, there, but no, no, it's just pus from his knee. That uh, is an organic expression of his body. And something uh, that I uh, I feel like I've let this person down uh, because they have done so much for this show. <clears throat> well, I know and who you're talking about. We tried to get him here once, uh, and it sort of fell through, uh, mostly uh, because. I was too cheap. Uh, I'll, I'll save that for later uh, and just say we're going to try and have cheap, eh? uh, Mr. and Mrs. Hollis Smith uh, on the show. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Hollis Smith, uh, they have done the music uh, for Big Ed Barnum's One of a Kind, Big Find of the Week, uh, Summer America Barnum's Book Club for Ladies, and all the other uh, live shows that we do. And, and they made a wicked mix for that party we had, too. So, they did. <laughs> so, uh, those are some of the folks we're going to try and have on the show, and I think... Uh, I almost uh, blew this uh, earlier. I think they call that burying the lead. So uh, (laughs) this stuff is uh, so special that I think uh, think we're just going to do one right now. What? Every hour is happy for me, Ed, but uh, if you want to drink, too. Let's do it. We'll be back in uh, 10 seconds. I ain't gonna argue, I ain't gonna fight I never been doing the other night Everything's wrong, everything stinks The only thing that broke a hallelujah is the kitchen sink Howdy, folks. Big Ed Barnum here from Big Ed Barnum's Bobble Barnum Garden with a very important message for you. It is time 
for Big Ed Barnum and Cole Screaming Eagle Wilson. Cole Screaming Eagle Wilson. Spring into spring happy hour uh, with I, I've messed it up mostly because this should be uh, right about here. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, anyway, we're coming to you live uh, from Churchill County, and uh, I'm just going to move my cheat sheet over here. Uh, you know, one of the things that we normally do here uh, at uh, at the shed is uh, we've been coming to you live, and some folks are always in doubt that we're actually live, so uh, I've got proof of live here. Uh, you ever seen those hostage negotiation movies where they get today's paper? Well, here's today's New York Times. <laughs> didn't a long time ago, didn't you have a joke about a hostage negotiation? We uh, we oh, did, but we're uh, we're 15 minutes in, so I'm going to skip that joke. Uh, other than there's some sort of uh, gnome or ho uh, hobgoblin or orc on the cover of uh, today's New York Times. I'm going to skip right to. I feel like we're going 90 miles an hour now. Uh, I'm going to skip to the uh, weekend arts <coughs> section. Oh, there's usually one or two of them here. How about we go weekend arts too? I'm going to put this over here so I can do the crossword later. Yeah, wrong. Uh, today's New York Times uh, in the arts section, uh, there's an article uh, called Comedy is Hard, Booking Comics is Harder. And I think uh, whether you are a stand-up comedian or someone who's trying to book comedy shows, uh, sketch comedy shows, or anything like that, I think you should pick up today's New York Times. Look, Somebody's going to do something about it. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll switch over to that camera for that. Yeah, you paid for all this technology. Let's use it. There it said, comedy is hard, booking comics is harder. Proof positive. Here, there you go. Anyway, uh, that's today's proof of life. I feel like we're all over the place. I think mostly because it's a happy hour, uh, and we haven't had a happy hour drink yet. Uh, Cole, Ooh, I don't know if you brought cue? anything Hold or not. On. Yeah, we'll, we'll call that your cue. Okay. I know we've got okay. Rory here with the uh, uh, Rory's cans. there, but uh, I brought some uh, some special uh, a special vintage of Scotch from my shed. I have my own shed, and this is a uh, this is a Loch Lamont. Where where am I at here? Put that there. Loch Lamont. Yeah, you're uh -huh. sort of. And it's a little little foamier is than that I a, remember it when I bought you, it. Did you reuse the bottle here? Is this? Well, I have my I my, my indoor. I think that's pee. Oh, the, hey, you, hey, well, that's P, Ed. It, that's what's in there. It's P. You took the oh, lid, right. you, you took the cap off, and I. I yeah, I, well, that smells like P. You want a beer then? I'll have a beer. Okay, yes. I'm going to take a beer from Rory. As long as uh, it's. Uh, you mind if uh, I join you here? You can join me here. I, you know. What? I, I <laughs> Did you never I, seen a military man open a beer with his teeth before, Ed? Well, uh. I guess it's a loose definition of military man that you're applying there. Uh, you know, folks, I have, uh, uh, we are we are messing up everything officially. here. Uh, I need to have my cat back a little more. Uh, you know, we are sponsored by DAC, Celebrity Canned Ham. It's the finest canned ham Denmark has to offer. And uh, I am paid modestly to say that. Um, I'm going to go back to uh, our main camera here. We've got the, we've got the close-up ham here, but uh, if you notice in the uh, corner, we also have... Oh, we don't have it, do we? Hold on, hold on, hold on. This wow. thing's still got batteries. Dropping the ball all over the place. Oh, no, now I'm spinning the ball. <laughs> A ball uh, of delicious briny ham. Upper left there, you've got <sighs> the uh, spinning ham. Uh, Dak Celebrity Can Ham. It is delicious. Uh, if you do eat the entire ham in one sitting, I suggest you have a nurse on hand uh, to drive you to urgent care mm -hmm. after you do it. Uh, best case scenario, if you eat one of these whole, uh, you're going to have some heartburn. Uh, that you got to deal with. Rinse it off. All right. Because it is Brian. Uh, drinking. I've got my drink. Uh, you know, we also talk about books. We talk about art. We kind of talk about all kinds of things. I think I'm going to uh, bump you out of here for a second so I can talk about uh, tonight's, you tonight's do you think, book. Do you think my beautiful mug is going to distract people from whatever... No, I just I just yeah, want to be able to... I'm going to talk, talk about, about your book. I'm going to talk about something that, uh, you know... I love books. I love fiction. I love debut novels by artists, uh, writers uh, who have uh, not been seen before uh, in a lot of places. And uh, tonight's book, I'm just going to fart around here. I'll figure it out at some point. Uh, Tuesday Nights in 1980 by Molly Prentice is a book uh, that I have come to love uh, dearly, actually, uh, for a couple of reasons. One, it's not just a good book. Uh, it has a uh, personal connection to me. Uh, I'll just get right to it. Thank you, Cole. Uh, You're welcome. You know, 
when you talk about books, a lot of people uh, will just ask you straight up, Big Ed Barnum, what's that book about? Big and, Ed Barnum, uh, what's that book about? And most of the time, they want to talk, want you to talk about plot and you know what happens to the characters and everything. So if you want to ask me uh, what uh, Tuesday Nights in 1980 is about, I'm going to tell you it's about siblings and the loss of siblings or the separation of siblings by time, geography, or the circumstances of uh, government and political whatnot. Uh, so that's what the book is about, and it's about dealing with uh, either the loss of a sibling because of that separation, um, or the loss of a sibling because you just choose not to be around them for whatever reason. So that's what it's about, but it's set against the uh, backdrop of the art world of 1980s, and this book uh, is actually a book, uh, there's a rabbit hole in some of the fiction that I've read. There's a lot of books uh, about New York on New Year's Eve's, various New Year's Eve's, City on Fire, Lillian Boxfish Takes a Walk, The Blazing World, and Tuesday Nights in 1980. Starts uh, New Year's Eve 1979. Cole, what were you doing New Year's Eve 1979? <laughs> crapping my pants. Uh, uh, why, I'm sorry, why were you crapping your pants? Wait, did you say 1999? 1979. Oh, 1979, I was being... I was like five months old, so I was crapping my pants that new Oh, I see. Too. I yeah. didn't realize you were that much younger kind than Kind of me. a tradition. Uh, well, uh, New Year's Eve 1979, I recall uh, sitting in the trailer uh, watching uh, Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve, and the village people were doing a medley of all their hits, uh, and at the end of it, the, they were singing a song called Are You Ready for the 80s? And I thought I was ready for the 80s, uh, but uh, about two seconds later, I sat down in a plate of meatballs, a uh, plate of meatballs, my uh, Aunt Diane wanted me to get her something, so I stood up and I put my plate of meatballs down, and I did this thing for her, and when I sat down, I, I sat down on my meatballs. That's what I call it, too, sitting in a plate of meatballs. You know, if, uh, I don't know what that means, uh, but, you know, if, if, there's, if, 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 if there's a way to kick off a new decade, sitting in a plate of Swedish meatballs is not it. Middle school and high school were a mess, and I attribute it all to that uh, mistimed uh, set of meatballs. Anyway, uh... I've babbled too much. Uh, artists, 1980, New York City. Uh, you've got a girl from Idaho. You've got a guy from Argentina. You've got a guy from upstate New York. And then you've got a bunch of New Yorkers. Uh, it's, uh, I'll tell you this. I finished this book uh, about uh, 6 in the morning because I do a lot of reading in the morning. I finished this book at 6 in the morning, uh, and it touched me in a way. I had to go uh, into the bathroom at the cafe, and I had, you know me, uh, I I'm guess a, I'm, I'm, a don't, cry, I'm a crier. Okay, over, yeah, I was going to say, I don't know why you need to go book. into the bathroom of a cafe after reading a book about the 80s. Anyway, but I do. Tuesday nights, Tuesday nights in 1980. <laughs> I feel like we are all over the place, and I feel like uh, I'm doing that thing where I'm slamming things that I'm not supposed to because, you know. So, anyway, well, well, I hope yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a happy hour. I hope wherever you are, you have some sort of drink. And I know for some of you, it's it, it's middle of the evening, uh, possibly getting pretty late. So, I hope you have a beer or a whiskey or something like that. I'm just going to take another uh, sip of this. And uh, earlier today, we decided that uh, originally we were just going to make the special announcement that we were going to be doing this stuff all spring long. And then we decided, well, if we've got eyeballs and ears, we might as well just do one. We decided. And then I think it's I think it's a bit obvious that uh, we didn't quite have our mustard uh, on the plate. Uh, I told you I could bring a, mustard. There was a metaphor there uh, that was going. So Cole, I think uh, get on in here, and I think we're just going to wrap this up the way we uh, we wrap it up already. always used to you do. You know, Ed says Ed says we we decided like it's some kind of democracy. I come over here, and granted, I only live across the street, but I said Ed. I'm here for the thing, and I got that script that you wrote down for the words for me to say. And he says, oh, well, guess what? It's going to be a whole thing. So uh, you got some food or you got some whiskey, or and I got a whiskey bottle, which is halfway there. Nice. And then uh, and I said, no, because you said we're just going to make an announcement and read this script. So I go home, which is, you know, it's next door, but it's a long walk on two artificial knees. And and and, uh, and I brought back these crappy cookies. That's all I can make. Whatever, we ain't gonna eat those. You didn't tell me you had cookies. Um, They're more right. like muffins. I, so, they made them too big, and then they got all airy. So I uh, uh, apologize, Martha Stewart. I, I apologize for the ramshackle, uh, what have you, <sighs> that we didn't quite have uh, planned. I'm just gonna put these dates back up here again, uh, all summer long, uh, spring, all spring long. 
I, you want to go into the summer too? I mean, we're going to be drinking every Friday well, night. Well, I think we're doing the you East, just plug that thing in. And I think we're doing on. that East of Eden uh, book club that's mm. supposed to be starting in the summer. I can't wait to listen to you talk about East of Eden more. So anyway, um, that's I'm not that expecting summer? any deliveries. I, that's not summer. She's out of so, town. What the hell's wrong with your I fridge, Ed? I told you you need a new belt on the alternator and that thing. Holy God! No. There's a Mormon in here. Mitchell. Okay. Mitchell, Mitchell, sit, sit down, you son. Been in the... How long you been in there, boy? I have seen things. Don't drink but, that. But, yo, that's no, pee. you don't want to drink that. That's, no, uh... come on, that's pee. That's joke. All right, I got to go over here. No, that's not it. That, that, It no. is good vintage. That, that, this... All right, I think we're done. All right, Mitchell. It? All right, Mitchell. Just, nope, uh, still recording. Hang on let's here. Off. Hang I, on here. I'll, I got to say, though, there's... We're going about it all wrong, all wrong, all wrong. Going about it all wrong, all wrong tonight. Oh my, oh my, please don't cry. Oh my, oh my, I'm saving the last bite. Oh my, oh my, please don't cry. Oh my, oh my, please be mine tonight. We're going. No, it's just you. I put. I if put you labels. Pee, if you pee my, in a bottle, you put a label on it. Call it. Yeah, well, you know pee. what it is. I, I didn't expect a frozen we, Mormon to chug it. No. We we uh, we made sure that it was safe. You know, we smelled it. How is it? Just, just take. Just, all right. No. I don't. 